do not, and I mentioned, do not purchase a coffee machine, specifically a Eura coffee machine, unless and until you've seen this video in full all the way to the end. Chris, thank you for joining us here today. Got a bunch of questions, and this is the Eura S8. Correct. This All is right. the beautiful Eura S8. Tell me a little more about where it sits in the lineup, the kind of colors it comes in, capacities, and uh, all yours. So the Eura S8, when it was introduced, created a whole new category overall in our Eura lineup. So it is a premium mid-range machine. Okay. And what the Eura S8 brings to the table is not only style, right. but also that ability to actually, you know, program and customize based on your own personal needs. Right. So this beautiful 4.3 inch touchscreen is the key to that. Yes. That's the first one in the lineup that gets the touchscreen, isn't it? Actually, it was the, yeah, the first machine overall in the Euro lineup yep. that got the touchscreen. So if you look at it overall, S8 is only superseded by the Z10. Right. Z10 is just above. Yep. Uh, and that's because the Z10 offers cold brew. It's also got a 4.3 inch touchscreen, where S8 does not have cold brew. Which brings me to the next question. Who is the perfect customer for the S8? It's someone who really wants to customize their beverages because they have multiple people at home that are coffee drinkers, you know, maybe two, three people. They really want to have their own recipe for their cappuccino programmed right into the machine. Right. And, um, and I would assume anyone who likes to touch the screen instead of mess around with buttons. Correct. Right. Touch screen as opposed to buttons. I think the other thing important to point out when we look at the rest of our lineup, uh, it will do those milk-based beverages. Right. So some of our, our models, right. like the N4 and the E4, right. are specifically coffee-only machines. Right. So if you're looking for a machine that will do your milk-based beverages, that will be customizable right. and programmable. Right. Full-size machine, comes with a 2-liter, 1.8-liter water, uh, 250 grams. 280-gram bean container, yeah. Grams bean container, large capacity drip tray, so you're only emptying this out every 10 to 14, 15. Pretty much. I would say. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Colors, uh, before I move on to the other stuff, what colors does the, does the S8 come in? Colors, the S8 comes in what we're displaying here, which is our beautiful Moonlight Silver. Yep. We also have the S8 in Piano Black. Right. And we have the S8 in Chrome. Um, customizability is a big question. And why don't we, if, if you don't mind, um, show customizability and also the how, how you would go through the screen choosing a drink by actually choosing a drink and making a drink sure. and customize it. Sure. Um, so that way we've uh, killed a few birds with a one stone. Absolutely. So as far as choosing a drink and the screen, if you'd please tell sure. us how the screen works. So when we look at, at this beautiful, very responsive touch screen, you can see everything is illustrated and illuminated beautifully. So we can clearly see our selections. There's eight of them on the screen here. Um, and it's just as easy as walking up to the machine right. and just pressing the button. How many drink selections do we get with the S8? Uh, I believe the S8 is 17. It's 16, 17, yeah. yeah okay, 17 right. different beverage yeah. selections. And, okay, so well, he, here's one thing that I, I noticed right off the bat. 16, 17 drink selections, but then we have um, different spouts some yes. here, some here, what's the story? Well, that's pretty neat because this would be our coffee only spout. Right. So if I'm selecting espresso or coffee or two coffees or two espressos, because I've got two nozzles here, right. then I would place my cup here. Right. If I'm doing any milk-based beverages, as you can see here, we're connected to our milk supply, which is our 0 0.6 liter cool control, which is keeping the milk nice and chilled. Right. It will, I will have to place my cup on this side to do my one milk-based beverage. Now, you asked me about a little bit of programmability. So there's two ways you can actually program a beverage. You can go through the P section, okay. which is programming, or I can actually just press and hold a beverage. Uh -huh. And then it takes me, so that's a little shortcut. Then it takes me right to the programming screen. So I can program my espresso right through here. And again, as I said, where the customizability comes into place is I can copy the product. Right. And then I can rename it according to yeah. my then you can go through the setting there and it tells you about coffee strength strength so if i wanted a stronger coffee i could increase i could decrease just there's through the 10 different screen. settings Fantastic. absolutely Great. just sliding back and forth okay. i move up let's say i want a little bit more volume okay uh, that's the volume of the espresso that's correct okay 
And again, I can look at temperature as well. Sure. Keep in mind, espresso is pretty simple as far as the programming. Is espresso. This really gets cool when you start doing your cappuccinos and you can adjust how much milk foam and your coffee strength. And can we do that? Yeah, absolutely. Can we also make a drink uh, a cappuccino sure. so we could also show um, how you would select and... So let's see this. I'm going to test you. Yes. How do I quickly access my cappuccino for programming? Okay, so here's all you need to do. I need to find your cappuccino and... Um, Press, press and, and hold. hold. There you go. So press the cappuccino. Okay, so I'm just going to press and hold. And that's fantastic. Until it opens the screen. There you go. Product so, setting. I can name it. So let's do this. Why don't you go into product settings? Your okay, product setting here it is, right? First things first is this coffee strength. It's a two and a half knob. You want to slide it up just like you're using your phone. That's there you go. Fantastic. Okay. So you want it stronger. I know you like your coffee strong. I'm going to go all the way. Absolutely. What are so, um Grams, uh, how many grams of coffee? So the variable brew unit here is going to go anywhere from 5 to 16 grams of coffee. Anything over 16, I get jittery. Yeah, 16 I, I, it is. Yeah, you got it. Um, <laughs> 14 second milk. And you right. know what? Is this, a, is this a good cup? Should we do it in yeah, this cup? Yeah, we can do it in that That's cup. Well, and right? remember now, placement's important, right? Any milk-based beverages on this side, any coffee on this side. Otherwise, okay. you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, foam. You know flowing into your tray and I don't think you like hold, drinking out of your tray. Hold the drink in my hand. Exactly. And then high temperature. So everything. You're good. So now you're going to just save those settings. I'm going to save it. Nice and simple. You get and the green check mark. What's this um, valve here? All right. So when it's in that vertical position. Yeah. That's when you're going to get your foam. Right. And this is going to allow you to get just steam milk. Do I have to do this for every drink or? You know. My personal opinion, I always like leaving it in that foam setting. I like that too. Yeah. I like leaving the foam setting because I'm still going to get a little bit of steam milk on the bottom. So the machine but I like does the foam that setting. anyways. It gives me the steam milk I need anyways, right? Yeah. I don't need to keep fiddling around with it. Absolutely. That. But you know what? Sometimes people do like to sort of play around with that and get their, their right consistency of foam. Okay. Fair okay? enough. If you want to play around, you play around, do your thing. But otherwise... So hit that cappuccino you just programmed. Yeah, but you know, very, very expertly hit yes. the cappuccino and... Can I still make adjustments while the drink is being made? So the grinding, you you can catch it while it's grinding. Okay. So if I wanted to reduce the strength, I would have had to catch it there. Right. But here I can always adjust yeah. while it's being produced. 14 second milk so I can go higher or lower. If correct. I correct. So 14 you... seconds is good though with these machines I find because it gives it enough time for the froth to separate from the steam milk. Yeah. So the espresso can sit in the real night. Exactly. Now this might be too full for this cup, but we'll take a look at it. So the nice thing is you can, if I were to stop this now, and, and we'll probably show it because I don't want it to overflow. Yep. Um, it'll basically ask me to save that setting. Right. So let's say I'm programming for my cup. Right. I can really visually program. I don't have to go into the program mode. I'm visually programming. When I get the right amount of fill, I can just hit cancel mm -hmm. and that's it. It'll stop and it'll ask me to save that new setting. So I'm just going to let it go for another ounce maybe. Okay. And then that's it. That's as Cancel. risk as I'm willing to take. There's that save button. So let's just save it. So I can save that. And now from now on, it knows it'll, that's the drink size. And that's it'll the produce this perfect. exact same cappuccino every single time. Now look at that beautiful milk foam. Like that is thick. It's dense. It's, it's a barista quality milk foam. Let's just lower it just a little bit. Let's bring it down here. Yeah, let's just lower that just a little bit. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of that milk foam. And I call this like... You know the the for lack of a better term the thickness test that's my right. thing. now here's a question what brewing technology is used for the jura s8 and does it make a difference in the taste well absolutely as you know with some of our other models like the z10 for example uh, you've got four different brewing processes that can happen with that machine right with the s8 we do have pep pep so pep technology is effective on the S8. Treat me like I'm five and in 10 seconds tell me what PEP is. Oh, I know. It's so confusing. With all these acronyms, PEP, right? So PEP, P-E-P, -P, Pulse Extraction Process. Why that's important for all those espresso drinkers, right? Right. They love a really aromatic, beautiful espresso. To get that, what Euros patented is the Pulse Extraction Process. So it pulses the water through. So it's not just one stream of water that's consistently going through the grind. It keeps pushing the water in to maximize. Exactly. So it's extracting the most 
out of that grind. It's agitating the grind and it's extracting. And that's only for the espressos. How about if I had a non-espresso based, like a long coffee drink out of this? Most of the other beverages use our standing brewing process, which is again, okay. uh, you know, a, a fantastic brewing process because okay. Yura has, you know, patented those processes that are going to extract the best coffee because okay. coffee quality is very important. Okay. Maintenance and cleaning is a big thing with coffee oh, on daily yes. basis. How much time am I spending every day cleaning my coffee machine with the S8? Now, in order for you to have a machine for 12 to 15 years, yep. maintenance is, is vital. So sure. every day, I mean, daily, the machine's gonna prompt you when this drip tray requires empty. So I'm gonna empty the drip tray. I've got my grinds in here. Yep. I'm gonna dump those grinds out, right? And so that's going to be the number one cleaning process. Pretty easy. The other piece of cleaning, which is really important. Right. We've just made a milk-based beverage. Yes. You don't want milk sitting in this milk pipe. You do not. You don't want milk sitting in the frother. Do you have to clean that after every drink you make or is it once a day or? I would say after your service. So if you had company over or if you were drinking coffee in the morning, uh, just yourself, you did two or three cappuccinos, it's done for the day. That's when I would do Wait, cleaning, that's milk system do. clean. And then you have your own tablets, which I'm trying to find here. Uh, well, I mean, you don't have to look any good. further. We have the milk system cleaning go. tabs. Yes. Yours made it so easy to clean the milk system. You're going to fill up and all you have to do yep. is just one click. That's it? That's it. And, and it, that's enough um, of a tab. So and these are pills i remember they used to be liquids they don't do that anymore they it? don't do that anymore and i find this much easier okay. because it's really just one click no measuring no requirement to measure 15 ml it's really just tip it over and just in the front part of the container i'm just going to do one click perfect it's going to release just enough tablets mini tabs for that milk system clean and as i said that milk system clean is only going to happen at the end of your at service of so we're not really done with the service i want to show this we're gonna to get to that probably a little bit later and okay. show that, Yep. but really, that's how simple it is. Okay, now tell me about this, because um, except for what happens daily, there's also every quarter, or depending on how much you use the machine where you are, the machine will need cleaning. Cleaning is not a big deal. All your machines are gonna ask you to clean. Descaling and the filter is what I'm very curious about. Because there's a very cool little filter in here that does something. Now, you mentioned two very distinct processes. Right. What I like to call it is, do you want to be proactive or would you rather be reactive? I've always felt that the best way to handle, you know, equipment, right. especially beautiful machines that you want to invest in and keep for many years, is to be proactive. So I always encourage the use of a Eura Smart or Clara Smart Plus filter. And that's what's in here. So this filter will filter the water on the upflow principle, right. but the new smart has also in, has a slot down below that will also keep the water that's in the tank Clean. scale free, right? right? Oh. So you wanna keep that tank nice and fresh, that water nice and fresh. Water makes up 98% of the beverage that you're making. If you don't have clean filtered water, you're not gonna get the optimal tasting beverage coming out of the machine. So Descaling will take place only if you're not using a filter, but again, I recommend right. using the filter Usually when, uh, I know you give your customers this advice, but usually when you're initializing your filter, you want to rinse it under cold water, give it a shake. You want to make sure the granules inside are loose, give it a shake and then put it inside. And so, as I mentioned to you, all those cleaning processes right. are very easily activated at the touch of a button or the touch of the screen. Yeah. So this one says now, because we made milk, a milk-based beverage, remember we made our beautiful cappuccino, yep. clean the milk system. It's just a reminder. You don't have to clean the milk system immediately. You do want to wait because if you're having guests over, every time you don't want to clean the milk system out there. Every the machine. I'm sorry. I no. Oh, no, you that's, don't. That's that's a buzz killer at a party. No? no, like you can't do that. Wait a minute. Do you do that? You said a party. I hope he doesn't do. You that. said a party. Wait. Yeah, oh, I didn't say a party. Here's here's what somebody did. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if they were trying to be cool or what it was, but they had something that. They literally walked around the room and started taking orders from their phone on their machine. What was that about? That sounds like super that, high tech. That's a baller move. That sounds just that's like Yura. Pretty cool. That, that sounds just I like Yura. Yura that, it is a Yura because here's the thing. Our S8, it doesn't come standard with it. You have to buy it separately. Right. But Wi-Fi Connect or Smart Connect will work with this. Right. Smart Connect is a Bluetooth connection 
Wi-Fi connects to your Wi-Fi at home. So that's it, the difference. So this comes with the Bluetooth. Sorry, the wire. This does not come with either one. It doesn't come with. You have to okay. purchase them separately. Right. Okay. Okay. So once you purchase either a Wi-Fi Connect or a Smart Connect, right. what you can do is you connect to your machine right. through our Joe app, right. the Eura Operating Experience. And the Eura Operating Experience, what allows you to do, so that friend that you were telling me about that had that, you know, um, order taking. Sorry, app, everything just magically happened. I don't know how it happens for you. It just happened. It just, it's amazing. I mean, do you get a Ferrari when it comes to a Euro machine? I'm just assuming there's a Ferrari no coming up. No, no I mean, Ferrari. A Wi-Fi connect is... <laughs> and this is a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari of coffee. Ferrari of coffee. There you go. I the S8, the Ferrari of coffee. Where does this go anyways? So there's a little tab at the back. It's at the back of the machine, I yep. think? Yeah. yeah, it's not here. No, it's right here. Was that the one? Right here. You just oh, pop okay. this off and then it slips right in the back here. Okay. So then what does this do after connecting to the Joe? So the Joe app, as I was saying, Joe app is a way to stay connected to your machine. Right. It will provide you with different um, statistics or information on your machine, when right. the next clean is needed, how, the life of the filter. Right. It'll tell you how many beverages have been prepared. So, so how basically many everything you have here it now appears on the machine. It appears on your phone, but there's that capability to upgrade that whole experience because I can customize on the Joe app. I can actually customize and what I can do is if I had a particular beverage that I wanted my own recipe and I haven't programmed it into the machine, I program it on my Joe app. Oh, and when I connect easy. to the machine, I just press that button and it gives me my recipe every time. So it's customizable. The other thing is that order app you were talking about, which I find is really cool. You go into the app, order function, you take everyone's order. So you want a cappuccino, the next person wants an espresso, the next person uh, wants uh, a, a latte. Right. I take the orders, I enter them in, and then I press go, and every coffee that I have on my order list will be produced in order, and all I have to do is just basically make sure that I place the cup underneath. That is awesome, actually. I'm telling Anyways. you, you're going to look like a tech whiz. Not only a barista, you are a tech whiz, you're a magician, you're a barista. I mean, I mean, that, I this know. does exactly what I wanted to do, which is... Give me as much attention as I would possibly get and be the center of attention in my own parties. I think I need one for my self-esteem. Unbelievable. Question. Drinks. How many drinks at a time? Look, can I make two drinks at a time? Can I make two cappuccinos at a time? Or Good two? question. Yeah. You can make two coffee drinks because as we can see here on the front, yeah. we have two coffee spots. Yeah. So if you wanted two espresso, two coffee, two ristretto, which is the short espresso, you can make that here. Okay. No questions asked. But milk-based beverages, one at a time. Now, before I talk to, uh, to you about warranties, because that's the last part, warranty and support, please, would you explain what that and this is? Do they come with the S8? Are we talking a whole different ballgame there as well? When you purchase the S8, right. you get just the S8. Just the S8. Yes. Fair enough. These are accessories. Everything right down to this beautiful stainless steel. But you do milk get a pipe. milk pipe, it's just not a stainless steel. You do. You just right. don't get this milk, this stainless steel one. This is beautiful because it accents everything yeah. so perfectly, and it's really a nice finishing touch. Yep. Um, this is the 0 0.6 liter cool control. Right. It is a milk chiller, not a refrigerator. Don't put your milk here and just leave it for the next seven days. Cool. Nice thing about it is we have two different colors. We have the black, yep. and we also have the 0 0.6 liter cool control white and white. Yeah. So that right there is the uh, Euro hot cup warmer. It's warm. It's the larger Inside. cup warmer. Yep. Uh, when we're talking coffee, one of the biggest mistakes we make is we take a hot cup or a hot, hot produced coffee and put it into a cold glass or a cold porcelain cup. Yep. So the cup warmer is going to do that for you. It's going to keep the cups nice and warm. Yeah. So that when you do make that espresso, you're not going to kill the whole experience so by having it, it in a cold cup. Cup warmer comes into play to make sure your cups are warm before you dry your espresso. Exactly. And, and things like that. Exactly. So we've also introduced the Hot Cup Warmers S. Hmm. They're a little bit smaller. Okay. They're, they're a little bit more compact. Okay. They come in black and white as well. Okay. So they actually also, as a separate accessory, okay. really complement the experience and, and allow you to bring that cafe experience right to your kitchen. Warranties, now let's talk about warranties quick and uh, and I think we can wrap it up there. Yeah, well, we, we totally stand behind our products. Yeah. The S8 comes with a 24 month or two year warranty. Right. That's parts and labor. Yep. Yeah. These machines are built to last. Yep. Yeah. 
and we stand behind them 100 percent well, having sold your machines for a while now i can uh, i can attest to the fact that people change their euro machines after years i'm talking like 15 years just because they're bored of it not because it's broken and i've also seen you guys carry parts downstairs for up to 20 years now if we've missed anything uh, if there's any questions uh, coffeewarehouse.ca uh, chat with us online give us a call toll free and the machine is starting to rinse itself. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris, for coming today. Hey, Great thanks very much. Thanks for visiting.